So because the K1 Max has a very long Bowden tube, it is important to avoid the Bowden tube when we are printing with very flexible filament. This is uh, Kung Fu Flex uh, 85A, so it's quite soft. You can see here, we can extend it, matter of fact, four times. And uh, that's why we need to go directly into the extruder. So let's do that. And uh, later on, we will take a look on the settings in uh, Creality Print. It is very easy to load the flex filament in the Creality K1 uh, printer. It, uh, the system here with, with the hats where you open and close uh, the extruder, it makes it very easy. So it is possible when you have it open uh, to just enter the, the flex filament in here and then you do the extrusion through the panel and you close here and it will go right through and come out like this uh, beautiful extrusion of the filament here. Yeah. So uh, this makes that we now are ready to, uh, to uh, make a print and before that we want to take a look on what we want to print and uh, what the setting is and then we will see how the print is coming out here from the extruder. So I have opened uh, Creality Print version 5 and I also loaded in my gear which I have been boosted up to with 200% at twice the size. <clears throat> so there are three places in Creality Print we want to, to check either the settings or make the changes. Uh, first we have the printer where we will go in and modify. Uh, we have the material we need. I have already, uh, uh, this is my spool number, the 16, and this is my uh, TPU uh, flex. It tells me the temperature I want to use and the, the bed temperature. And last but not least, we have the process for uh, printing uh, this gear. So let's uh, start with the printer and you click here and you click the pencil. Um, especially here you need to turn on the advance <coughs> because when you get to do that you will see as an example here the set offset. Uh, I would maybe for my machine uh, have 0 0.5, uh, oh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.1. I don't do it right now. I just want to see how, how much it stick to the to the bed. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise you have uh, if you use multi-material we have only a single extrusion here. My extruder, what type of nozzle is it, the minimum and maximum layer height limits. Um, here is the retraction. Um, I would maybe increase this a bit. Um, I, I would probably do a, a stringing test uh, with this TPU, uh, but uh, I will not do that in, in this one. But uh, the length of uh, retraction here is only even not a half a millimeter. Uh, it should not be a lot either because uh, it is TPU and we do not want it to clock or something like that. The retraction speed also is here. Uh, these numbers are fixed and should, uh, in, for, in my version, not be changed. So, this is uh, the printer. Here, you, I have chosen uh, my Kung Fu Flex CPU 85A material which is you can choose if you don't have modified anything yet you can choose like <coughs> CRTPU uh, 
and uh, then modify the file for, for your needs as an example. Um, the temperature is, is set here to 227 and 35 degrees for the bed. You can make changes to this here. And again, you should turn on the, the advanced uh, uh, button here. Um, what type it is? It is TPU. Uh, the vendor is generic. It's a Kung Fu Flex. Uh, we have a softening temperature. Here, this is a minimum and maximum. And uh, I think in my case it was 220. Um, and I found out from printing before that 227 is, uh, is the best for me. Um, and the bed temperature, in some cases you, you maybe even don't need uh, a heated bed because uh, flexible filament is really sticking very well to the bed. But I have 35 degrees here. Uh, the same for all layers. Uh, I do that all the time. Uh, customized placed, it's not what we have because I have a textured PEI plate. And this will be the settings it will use. Cools. <coughs> it's really important to, to cool this material as fast as possible down. So I'm running uh, at 100% uh, on all fans. And I also have, uh, even for the first layer, I have cooling from the beginning. Uh, this is why I have a zero layer here. Normally you maybe would have one or two if you one if you have printing with PLA. Um, and I also have full fan speed at layer zero. Keep fans always on and uh, force cooling for overhang and uh, bridges. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, that's it here for my, so I save this one. You get this message and I click OK and it is right where it should be. For the process, uh, I also want you to click this one because this all opens the advanced uh, parameters. Um, <clears throat> I use a layer height of uh, 0.2. I have my first layer is also 0.2. Um, then there is not much more here. No ironing. Yeah, that is a uh, man. In fact, enough for the for the quality. This is a layer height. Uh, you see here, outside here, you have these five uh, menus. If you look on the strings here now, I have wall loops, which is, uh, you can see it down here, it's outside uh, the wall, is uh, two walls. Um, top and bottom shells, I have uh, four top shells and three bottom shells. You can make the change how you want it to look here. Um, For the surface pattern, uh, the bottom pattern, mm, not much more to do. Here is a sparse infill. This is a quite important parameter because if you are making a gasket or something else of this material, as less infill you have, as softer it becomes because you have less structure to to uh, work around with. So in this case, if I wanted uh, quite soft, then I would maybe use 15 at the sparse infill uh, density. <coughs> uh, yeah, and we go to the speed. You will definitely not <laughs> print the 250 millimeters per second. But on the first layer here, I use 25 millimeters per second. And I also have the first layer in fill with 35 millimeters per second. Um, 
other layer speed here is 35, 35, 35. Only small perimeter threshold, it's uh, set to zero. And small but small perimeters are set to the half of the speed. Um, in this case, 17.5 uh, millimeters per second. Okay. Uh, slow down for overhangs. Uh, And then we have the accelerations and all this, which I don't make any changes to. Yeah. Support. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe we use. Uh, you can use this filament for support. Well, it depends on the test. Um, but I would not. And uh, in others, uh, it's like skirt loops. If you need a bed adhesion, we absolutely don't do that. I have said it to no brim because it's a sticky material from before, so to make a, a brim makes absolutely no sense. Prime tower, I haven't tried it, but I think it's more when we change colors, but who knows, maybe it could uh, avoid some stringing. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, these are, I think they are standard settings. Yeah, so uh, this is um, what, how I would do in uh, my settings here for my uh, TPU uh, flex here. So let's slice the plate and uh, we see it take 40, uh, 41 minutes to uh, make this gear, which I think is, uh, is a reasonable uh, uh, time. And I also later on want to to print a Benchy boat. Uh, let me just find that one. And I think for that one, I wanted to, to have it to 25. Okay. So let me try to slice that one and let's see how much time it will take. It will take uh, approximately 61 minutes, which I think is quite good for a benchy boat um, with this material. So I'm excited to see how, how the quality of the print will uh, come out. But uh, let's start printing these two uh, items and see what the result will be. Let's go. So for the next experiment, I'm printing a Benchy boat uh, with the same TPU, the same settings. I even not raised it from, from the bed um, as discussed on the gear. So uh, let's finish the print and take a look how a Benchy boat looks. Well, the Benzy boat is uh, finished printing, so let me see. It is. Oh, well, it's not that bad to get off. Uh, let's take a closer look to it. Well, there is, of course, some stringing at the door, but mm, it's not that bad, honestly. 
It's really not that bad. Uh, I can see the letters in the bottom of the boat. The holes, the anchor holes are looking quite okay. I even have the hole for the for the flag and for the the screw. I we'll have a little bit issues here with, with the overhang, but it's not bad. It's absolutely not bad. And this boat is flexible. So it is possible to print a Benchy boat on the K1, K Max. And uh, yeah, that's at least how it works. See you another day, another time. Bye-bye.